India, which is a member of the Quad Group, can now join another similar organization. This new organization could be formed between the US, Israel, India, and the United Arab Emirates. The foreign ministers of the United States, India, Israel, and the United Arab Emirates will meet for the first time on Monday evening, that is, on October 10, 2021, with the objective of strengthening coordination and economic partnership throughout West Asia. The meeting to be held in virtual format coincides with the visit of Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar to Israel. Previously, India, Israel and the UAE considered trilateral commercial initiatives following the establishing of diplomatic ties between Israel and the UAE last year. This organization can play an important role in the West Asia region. Minister of External Affairs, S. J. Shankar's five-day visit to Israel. During his visit to Israel on Sunday, he met with members of the Indian Jewish community in Israel, praising their commitment to strengthening ties between the two countries. He compared the group to an umbilical cord that connects Israel and India. He also expressed hope that in the coming years, Indian Jews will bring the two countries even closer together. Jay Shankar particularly admired the community's unique blend of Israeli and Indian customs, such as the removal of shoes before entering a holy building and the celebration of certain festivals. He has told the Indian Jewish community and Indologist streets that both the countries share similar challenges to their societies from radicalism and terrorism, apart from many other emerging developments on the geopolitical landscape. Jay Shankar pointed out that India's bilateral ties with Israel have taken a qualitatively new path in recent years. Jay Shankar also launched a book by Professor Shaul Sapir, Bombay, Mumbai, City Heritage Walks. Sapir, an Indian-born scholar, was a professor at Jerusalem's famous Hebrew University. The book outlines the excellent way to discover the city's old colonial architectural gems and to enjoy a glimpse of the glory of the city in the days of the British rule. The publication includes 14 city walks, 15 easy-to-follow maps, 123 historical, architectural heritage landmarks and sites, 850 notes and sources, and more than 1,000 photographs. During his visit, he will also be holding talks with leading academics from all over Israel, business community leader. He will also be visiting places of historical significance to India, demonstrating its long-term presence in the region and constructive role played in shaping the history of the region. Minister S. J. Shankar urges Israeli companies to invest in India. Describing Israel as one of India's most trusted and innovative partners. He urged Israeli business, including from the defense sector, to invest in the country and take advantage of its business-friendly policies. India has been facing major threats emanating from across the border from Pakistan. And Israel is also surrounded by hostile neighbors. India and Israel have a joint working group on counter-terrorism and the two countries also share real-time intelligence to deal with the menace. Relations between Israel and India have improved a lot in the last few years. PM Modi visited Israel in 2017. This was the first visit by an Indian PM to Israel. Since then, the knowledge-based partnership between the two countries has increased. Apart from this, India has also got some help from Israel in Make in India projects. The two sides signed seven pacts covering areas like innovation, water conservation, agriculture and space.